Hi, my name is Cassandra Scove, and I teach third grade in Wiley, Texas. And I always try to find things that kids love to read and um, help them enjoy reading and find new ways to um, find books. So what we do every March is it's March Madness and I come from a big sports family. So we do a tournament of books and it really, really helps get the kids into reading the picture books because in third grade, sometimes they think, oh, I'm too big for that. But the books are so much fun and you can have um, a lot of interesting conversation with picture books. So this year I've done a really, a really conscious effort of making sure we read picture books too. So when we do our March Madness, depending on how much time we have with our different curriculum, we do eight or 16 books. So this year we did eight books, like everything else this year, it's kind of different. So I have one online class and one in-person class, so they each get to vote. It also helps some of those kids who don't really read a lot of chapter books or any chapter books, feel like they are participating in the class. So I wanted to show you some of the books that we are reading and voting on. So the kids will vote on Friday. Right now we have eight books and they'll vote and take it down to four, and then they'll vote again in a couple of days and take it down to two, and then they'll vote for the final book that they want to win. So I have some new books and some old books because I love Three Cheers for Tacky. It is one of my favorite all-time books. It's about this penguin who doesn't quite fit in, and all the other penguins don't really want him to be part of their show because he doesn't fit in, and he always seems to be messing it up. Um, but, in the end, they cheer for Tacky. So it's a really, really neat book. And um, the other one that is up against Tacky is Rulers of the Playground. So this is a newer book that I bought a couple years ago. Look at that, isn't that cool? They have a playground, a map of a playground. And this book is about two kids who want to rule the playground and how they try to rule the playground. And it has you know, what other kids think about them trying to rule the playground. So it's a really, really good book. Then we have Lady Pancake and Sir French Toast. They're on a race to see who can win, who can get to the last drop of syrup first. And it's just fun because it has a lot of foods, like they're running through <clears throat> um, beans, the chick chickpea, and so it has different foods that they're running to see who can get the first or the last bit of um, syrup. And then this one, I love this book. This is called Wanted, Ralphie Rabbit, Book Burglar. And he loves books. This rabbit loves books. He just can't get enough of books. And so Ralphie didn't just read the books, he took them home. And look at that, isn't that cute, the little book burglar? So it's how he just cannot get enough books. And there he is, taking more books. So anyway, that one is really cute too. So one of the newer ones that I'm putting in the book tournament is Nerdy Bird Tweets. And you'll notice a lot of these books have a lot of deal to do with friendship and how we should treat each other because I think that's a really good message for us, especially in third grade. If you teach third grade, you know, there's a lot of tattling in third grade and a lot of, he won't play with me in third grade. So I try to pull in some of these books that they can really relate to and maybe learn a lesson from. This is Nerdy Bird Tweets and he starts tweeting. Look at these pictures, aren't they awesome? And he starts tweeting and tweeting and he wants his friend to tweet but then he tweets something not so nice about his friend. <clears throat> this one is the bad seed. There's all kinds of, there's the good seed. This one is the bad seed. There's a bad seed. He's not so bad. But look at these pictures. I mean, we've all felt like that at some point, right? And, I mean, they just have such great illustrations. I love these pictures in here. Um, Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon by Patty Lovell. 
And <clears throat> Molly is very small, but she wants to be very tall. Molly Lou Mellon stood just taller than her dog and was the shortest girl in the first grade. She didn't mind. Her grandma told her, walk as proudly as you can and the world will look up to you. Look at these beautiful pictures. They're just beautiful. You look at that illustration. Isn't that awesome? So the last one is Doug Unplugged. And Doug is a robot and his parents want him to be the best robot. So they plug him in every day before they leave for work. But then he sees something out the window and he unplugs. And it talks about all the different things that he discovers outside. So it's kind of like sometimes we need to unplug and see things that are outside. So those are the books that I'm using in our book tournament. Um, our tournament of books and they'll vote on one on Friday and then they'll vote again next week after a few days and I try to read one of these a day to each of the kids some of them like to read them on their own but I try to make sure we get through them as a class too so even if there's a struggling reader in the class they can still vote because they love to be able to vote for things so I hope you liked the video and um, thank you so much for coming and I will put the names of these books in the links below. Thank you.